Oh, this funny. <laughs> For the tributes, you know, there's a lot of people out there doing some good work, right? You've got Virgil Abloh donating $50 to help kids get bailed out if they decide to go riot and loot even though he told them that they should be ashamed of themselves for stealing t-shirts. Um, then you've got Russ making these amazing t-shirts and hoodies that he's made nearly a half a million dollars on. He's close to, he wants to now new goal of making maybe a million dollars to uh, contribute to the fund as well. You've got loads of different, different initiatives. Then on the other side of the pillar, the other side of the aisle, right? On another, on another, another planet, right? Somewhere near Mars. You've got fucking <laughs> David Gitter decided to, you know, make a tribute um, to the victims of police brutality um, to also shout out and acknowledge the George Floyd family in this terrible situation in the most David Gitter way possible. Now, it's funny, don't get me wrong, but you have to be honest and his heart is in the right place. He doesn't mean well. English isn't his first language. And um, for the most part, judging by what i've seen about david get online he's a bit corny he's a little bit of a dweeb but he, he seems like a chill dude and the music i've never listened to it but he occupies a certain space in music that people seem to enjoy and he's having some fun of it but bloody hell this did come across a bit disgusting when he when i saw it for the first time but this is david getta on a rooftop of i think it's a miami bar that he's doing a residency at because i remember seeing a video of him performing during the lockdown like going really ham and they've sort of like streaming it live on youtube and they've got massive speakers and shit it's a whole production like i'm just, I, I, i'd love to know what the production costs are for his little parties he puts on um i think it's maybe once a month during the lockdown but it's a real big show it's much it's a much bigger thing than just having a couple of monitors and a fucking webcam they go in on this so bloody hell let's play the video here let's get it up on the big camera so make it widescreen the world is going through difficult times and america too actually <laughs> the world's going through difficult times and america too actually i think it's pretty pretty sure it's just america that's going through a really fucked up time and maybe by extension hong kong and it may be venezuela maybe syria maybe, okay cool maybe the world so last night i knew we were gonna do this and i made a special record <laughs> so this record is in honor of George Floyd. And Did you forget his name? We have to read it off the screen. <laughs> and I really hope we can see more unity and more peace when already things. I love how the cameraman decided to zoom in at uh, this serious moment, right? Unity, more peace, and everything. And then you've got this nice bit of, you know, this nice call to action here, right? Make a donation on davidgetter.com forward slash donate. I wonder where those funds are going. What are they pay? What are those funds paying for? Like his new Celine jacket. These are so difficult. So, shout out to his family. I shouldn't laugh, but fucking hell, shout out to his family. Like, <laughs> what's more tone deaf? Virgil ad admonishing kids for wanting to steal covered items that he helped to make coveted, or David Gitter saying shout out to his family to the victims of police brutality what's more what requires less tact <laughs> like i said his heart's in the right place but god almighty dude and for sure i'm gonna get copyright strike on this as well but who cares? but look at that production look at that production right i'm sorry i keep pausing the video but look at this production it's a minute long you I'll, I'll show it link i'll link it down below to vid push it yourself in full but look at the production of the show uh, is that is that miami mate i think it's miami but look at that it's a stage right with this amazing uh screen thing on the side of the stage led lights um a, what three cameramen i think this guy that guy who was operating a drone <sighs> I wonder where the sample's from. Is that a Martin Luther King sample or something? <laughs> he's a oh, legend. Isn't he? I still have a dream. Yeah, it is a, it is a dream <laughs> deeply rooted in the American dream. But to be fair, he made the track yesterday, so, you know, fair play to him, I guess. I have a dream. 
EDM is fucking terrible in it. It's so bad. Look at him looking at his friend saying, this is a sick track, innit? Someone died for this, bruv. It's a sick, innit? It's like, what? Was it? Oh, it's a, they're raising funds then. What's this for? Matching partners, David Guetta, United, at home, fundraising live from New York. They raised $27,000 so far. Fair play, in it, right? Jessica, Robert Perez, obviously. Of course, Robert Perez is raving to David Guetta, of course. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up God almighty, man. Like, that's shocking, isn't it? Terrible music, but fair enough, isn't it? Like I said, his heart's in the right place. He does mean well, but... Oof. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I don't know what else to say on that one, isn't it? I'm lost for words, mate. Absolutely lost for words. Bloody hell. Imagine being part of his team and having to put together the press brief or press release of that track. Like, what do you say? Inspired by the outbursts of riots across the United States that stemmed from the brutal killing of George Floyd, I've made this track with Bidum Bum Bidum Bum Bum Bidum Bum Bidum. Like, what? The guy's a madman, bruv. Legit madman. I swear to God. 